It has been more than 100 years since a major hurricane hit Tampa Bay. Last summer, we teamed up with Columbia University to see why major hurricanes rarely come our way. Well, this year, we teamed up with the Department of Energy to find out if climate change will impact our hurricane risk in the future. Chief Meteorologist and Climate Specialist Jeff Berardelli has the results of our exclusive study. Guys, the climate is now warming at the fastest rate in modern history. Now, we figured this was bound to increase the risk for hurricanes in the Bay Area, but even I was shocked by how much. The data is unmistakable. Tropical oceans are heating fast, providing more high-octane fuel to make hurricanes stronger. There's evidence it's already happening. This signal has already it's, it's already present over the historical period of stronger intensification close to the coast, just, just ahead of landfall. And also uh, of grave concern is that the models project that this kind of a signal would continue into the future. And that means more destructive storms in our near and distant future. Karthik Balaguru is a climate scientist for the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. We partnered with Balaguru's team to localize his groundbreaking hurricane study using nine state-of-the-art computer models and Balaguru's proprietary framework. He simulated nearly one million hurricanes. We generated uh, nearly half a million tracks for the historical period and also for the future and then by uh, looking at the difference, you can see how it's going to change uh, at a very high resolution, you know, at different locations. The results are shocking. If the models are right, later this century, communities in the Tampa Bay area can expect the following. Maximum hurricane winds 20% stronger. Maximum rainfall rates 50% more intense. A 75% increase in hurricanes and a staggering 225% increase in major hurricanes. In other words, in our past cooler climate, major hurricanes would hit the Bay Area on average only once a lifetime. But in our warmer future climate, that number rises to three times a lifetime. But why are the models projecting such a big increase? Balaguru says most of the increased risk comes from circulation changes. According to the models, robust warming in the eastern tropical Pacific forces atmospheric waves into the Atlantic. These waves subsequently change the wind circulation patterns, steering more storms towards the U.S. southeast coast, while also weakening wind shear near the U.S. coast, meaning stronger storms more often. Perhaps on average, a major hurricane every 30 years. Now, these are alarming findings, but it's important to remember models are never exactly right. However, they are pretty good at alerting us to overall trends. Now, one caveat, this study is based on a high emission scenario, meaning if we keep burning fossil fuels at the same rate we are today and the planet keeps warming at a similar rate. People are going to hear this, and it's very discouraging to hear some of this news. So the obvious question becomes, what can we do? Is there anything we can do to mitigate the risk, to diminish it? What's, what do we do for the yeah, future? It's a good point, yes. Uh, there is something we can do. Uh, to some degree, the future is obviously still in our hands, but it won't be easy. If the big nations of the world, like the U.S. and China, come together to reduce our emissions, then there's a good chance the risk will be lower overall, significantly perhaps. Uh, to read more about the risk for the Bay Area and other cities along the coast, there's a lot more details on our website, WFLA.com. And, and that is still just a study. It's just a study. And it could we don't know out, if it could it be could right turn or out wrong. differently yeah, in the future, know. that's for sure. You just don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank Thanks. you.